alternate history track at Dragon Con and said, all of these people who are dressed in these corsets and bustles and top hats and just look so dapper and dandy and I want to sit at this table. <laughs> so I started doing my research. Uh, my talent is actually started not so much in the sewing part, was in the prop, the, the prop and accessory making part. In fact, I'm wearing one of my, my vintage jewelry pieces right now. Uh, part of, um, I actually have a lot of um, seamstress friends, and they've actually kind of have and are still training me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I do have a Nome. I'm kind of considered a newbie um, at it. Like I said, I, my, I have like some wonderful seamstress friends who I can call whenever I'm freaking out and go, um, um, it says this, I don't understand it, and it's, it's just a straight stitch. Stop panicking. So, what I have um, learned in you know, my, my continuing journey and starting to you know, do sew my sew my own outfits in addition to making my own props is the basically how almost you, prop, you can almost adapt any pattern to um, to a, 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 to the to the you know alternate history to the style that you want. Uh, it, it's preferable if you have you know that that exact time period pattern. You know, we would all love that. But um, there, it's like I found that like basic patterns, like for jackets, skirts, you you can you can almost adapt them to you know to the period. A lot of it also is in your materials. You you know take take a simple A line skirt pattern and you know use muslin or you know or something or or one of those things that they used um, back back in you know the time period that and you have you have your skirt. Uh, I'm it, it's um that that's kind of like what I learned the best. You know, there there are like there are very like basic patterns and that's kind of what my seamstress friends told me. Basic patterns that, you know, vest, skirts, uh but uh, my my um, pattern maker of my pattern maker of choice tends to be um, I'm going to say simplicity and butter rigs, and that's just not and that's not that's not only because Hancock has that five for five deal. Uh, they it, it tend um, they tend to be they tend to have like more just basic thing basic, and then what and then you know for me also. Uh, I, I have found Goodwill to be uh, an amazing resource because it, it's you can take um, you there's you know there's like a lot of stuff that it looks vintage it may not necessarily be vintage but it looks kind of vintage and with a snip snip here and a seam rip there you know you you, you 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 can make that happen you know one of, one of the things my seamstress friends impart to me is keep your seam ripper at hand. <laughs> so, frog stitching. Thank you, ma'am. So, it's, um, it, 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 for me, it's just, it's been a, con it's, it's a continuous learning process as I'm slowly but surely learning to um, adapt my own things. I'm, I'm right now, I'm, even though I didn't get to wear it, I am, I am working on, you know, sewing my, my own bustle pattern, um, doing, doing the bustle from, from a pattern. Which you know, my my of course one of my seamstress friends say, oh, it, you know, it's easy. You just you just sew it together. Yes, says the lady that's been sewing for 15 years. <laughs> of, of course, it's easy to do. So uh, that it's pretty much it. It's just um, one one of the things. If anyone in here is like you know wants to sew and they're kind of a newbie like me, kind of taking kind of like toddling along it's you know one of a good resource to have is a seamstress friend who you can call and just basically go like okay I want to do this but how do I you know I wanted to make it like this you know uh, if um, 
it, that that's just kind of like the basic patterns. Um, a good one of the better resources for like when you're going for those time period patterns. I I found Butterworth has been the best resource for the time period patterns. They seem to have more of them, and you know they you know they and then there's also some that you can like that you can get online that are like discontinued. Like the, um, I know you, none of you probably saw me around here yesterday about the, the bustle that I had, bustle that my wonderful friend Alicia made for me. That was actually a discontinued pattern that she she found that from, and you know, that's why I kind of wish she were here. And she's like, you know, I told her I was doing this. Oh, you can do it. You have to sit down and tell them what you know. And I was like, uh, no, I kind of needed you here. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> so. Um, with that, I think I'll open up the floor to questions because I see a hand raising already. Because I'll start and comment because we're saying discontinued patterns. Simplicity has started a effectively print on demand for some of their discontinued patterns. So if it's something you've seen in the past catalog that you didn't get, get on their website and get to looking around because they may you may be able to get one as a print on demand. Cool. And I believe it's McCall's has started a cause. I think McCall's, whichever, yeah, yeah, hands it. Yeah. And yeah. they've started an online cosplay costume. And you can also take, if you got a shirt, you can't find a shirt pattern all the time for women. They have buttons down the back. It's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is a pattern. Okay. Yeah, let's go stand, stand up yeah. and let's see you. This, it, we, I didn't do it very successfully because there are some pull marks, but under a corset, this is it with a button down front. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was that the one? I can't remember what pattern it is. But I, I also had very full sleeves and I took some of the full this out. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Yes, and this good. under here, if you want a cheap hook, this is a cheap Amazon, like $25 hook. Nice. And it only has the one hoop in the bottom, which makes it very easy to go back. <laughs> and I can I just pin it up to the hanger so it hangs in the closet instead of collapsing. And I love and I love the color by the way. <clears throat> this is this is joint fabric, you know, cotton. Nice. Not even the stuff. But it is fun to trust these chairs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, like the two ladies said, also online is gonna be your friend. Um, it's it, you know, like like a lot of these, like I didn't I didn't know actually that some, that um, the other ones were starting to do it now because I knew that Brother Ricks was, you know, you could find this continued pattern, but I knew, I didn't know that some of the other companies were starting to do it too. Mm -hmm. well, I think they're getting on the cosplay. Family. Yeah, they, they yeah, are. Yeah, because yeah. the one way I heard about it was through people who do the costuming type patterns, not yeah. their day to day fashion. It's there. a cheap way to still sell the old pattern. Yeah. If you think yeah. about and it. they make the money instead of somebody yeah. having to track it down at a Goodwill or an estate <laughs> sale. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, so that. Um, I mean that's pretty much it. Just you know, you, you, there are a lot of resources out there. Um, uh, also, I would I would just say do the do the research. You would there. Um, I, I I found that actually going to the library and you know and actually like I mean they don't have the patterns there, but actually looking up old you know looking up Victorian turn of the century Edwardian Edwardian fashions. Uh, uh, look at museums too. I yes. know Victoria and Albert Museum has a lot of their ones online for ideas. Yes. Yeah, they just opened up a huge digital library yeah. of, their, of their images, of photographs of their collections. From their catalogs yeah. that have been published. Yeah. So, and I went to Google over there, they had a, a, they had a costume one. one okay. So if, you're, if you want to see them, I, I do have Facebook and you can sell pictures. I took Victoria and Albert up. Z E N T H E A on Facebook. And if you want a friend of me, I'll be glad to look at the pictures I took in England. Oh, wow. Okay. Great. Awesome. Only 600 and something. See, a lot of I take a picture, and you know, you take a picture of the signs, so you knew what the outfit yeah. was up and yeah. stuff like that. Because 10 years from now, I'm not going to remember what that outfit was like. And you're not having to pay to process all that film. Yeah. No, no, no. I just, my camera must have been booked up for like 20 oh, minutes to download. So, but yeah, just um, old magazines. Um, I, for me, I have found that you know, even though my 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 grandmother was only younger in the nineteen twenties, she's like she she's been a what she's been a wealth of information because she kept a lot of stuff from my great grandma, and so I I actually she actually had like a lot of magazines like 
from the 20s and stuff like that, vintage magazines, like just, you know, and we've actually gotten things from there. And, you know, before I, you know, before I overcame my fear of the genome, I would just, I said to my seniors, my, my seniors and friends, man, but like this, like this lady said right here, um, the, the museums, the, um, I think even the, um, there's a, I, I, I'm not sure, but I think there's even a Titanic exhibit going, getting ready, going on or something like that here. And there's a Titanic museum in museum. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Yeah. And also one in Ireland. Where? In Ireland, where it's still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can get to Tennessee, but if, you know, if you can, check it out. I mean, the has, I think the Metropolitan has their stuff, a lot of their stuff online, too. Yeah. Just I um, if it's any if it's anything that I love the Titanic movie about was you know not necessarily the love story but and you know besides Billy Zane <laughs> who I'm crazy about um, it was just the costumes how they got those the, they got those costumes right it was it, I wasn't a fan of Rose but <laughs> it was Outlander has beautiful ones too. What is the movie? Outlander. Oh, yeah. Okay. Diana Galvedon. It's a series on stars. Okay, great. It's the seven, late 1700s, and, but there's also uh, World War II, post World War II. Nice. And they did a great job in their costume, too. Great. So, um, that, that's basically that has been my journey as like taking, you know, top, toddler steps and, you know, you know, just having, you know, I, I credit a lot of it to my seamstresses friends who I call every time I freak out, like, okay, this is Chinese, I don't get that, it's just a dark Janine. It's not that hard. So, um, it sounds like you don't use YouTube very much, because I use YouTube tutorials for sewing yeah. things. I've begun to start using YouTube. Okay. Yeah. And I also would say if you're a beginner, Butterick doesn't have the best direction. Yeah, They're yeah. more assuming you know how to sew. Yeah. So I would start with McCall's for simplicity first. Yeah. Something simple. Which is what I I learned the hard way. Mm -hmm. I, I looked at the pattern I'm going, the, this butter is going. I've sewn for years and they still and I'm, I still got a simple I'm going, I don't get this. And then calling my seamstress friend and she's going, okay, which, where did you buy it from? Butter is. <laughs> so yeah, the and so basically I started out with just they said to start out simple A line skirt you can't get an A line skirt wrong and you know and it's just go from there an A line skirt can be adapted to most time periods this charming lady in the bag um, I don't know if that's an A line skirt it kind of looks it's, like it's actually one of the store patterns so it's a very easy one. So yeah, it's still the rudimentary seams waistband. Yeah. So <laughs> the <that's>, screwed up <laughs> So um, just and like this lady in the orange said that YouTube, YouTube is also your friend. Um, and and you know actually my journey is still continuing because when I leave this con, I'm going. I'm I'm actually going to go on and work work on the thing that was spoke that was supposed to be done for this one, but. But it, but it isn't. So, well, yeah. Momo Khan's coming. Th that, that, <laughs> this is true. This is true. So, do we have any other questions or any other, any other suggestions? If, you know, if the, anything else to contribute? The contributions have been great. I wish that my other three compatriots were here. Um, Goodwill so. sometimes has fabric too, and check the drapery. I found perfectly looking. Velveteen drapery pads for eight bucks and made a Jack Sparrow pirate coat. Oh, uh, awesome! Oh, oh, now oh. I will say that the 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 it's I had piece some of the you know the the facings and you know the underneath stuff. It's not always going the green way it's supposed to do, but for eight bucks for velveteen, yeah, for a, I think that takes six or eight yards of velvet. That's like. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not just for Scarlet O'Hare, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> and you can, I've seen there's a, there's a, you can take a drapery, piece of drapery, and you can turn that into a bustle. Just by putting, like, drapery rings on the side yeah. and I rip it up and then just pull it in. Yeah, the, the, the fold's already there. Awesome. Usually up here. But, um, that's really, 
um, it, it's really, I really, it's really what I, I not much, I, much more, more I have to add. As I say, I, I really admit I'm, I'm, I'm taking my toddler steps, and it's, it's been, it's been a crazy journey, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm, I want to keep going. I, you know, eventually I will work myself up to, you know, a really nice, elaborate evening, evening dress for my cousin's wedding dress as my grandma is has now put upon me. So, oh, you're, oh, so you're sewing now. Oh, so you're sewing now and prop making. It's like, yes, Grandma, but let's not, let's not jump to the, oh, so you, you know your cousin's getting married, right? Grandma, I think we're jumping the gun a little bit. So, so you make all of this stuff now. We can just turn it, everything over to you. Uh, no. That's probably what she was, what people ask her to do. Which, 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 yeah, because you're so for everybody. Yeah, because of course I I come from a a seamstress family. I don't know how it happened, but you know I have um, women on my dad's side, and so grandma quilts, grandma crochets, mom mom quilts, mom crochets. Um, aunt could sew at one point in time. Mom can mom can sew. Mom can knit, and they're looking at me like, okay, and you're build you're building guns and making jewelry. What happened? Another thing you might want to do when you're starting out is make separates. Yeah. Because my daughter and I tend to mix and match some of the stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I took this as Granny's skirt originally, and yesterday I was running around as Joker with the Granny skirt. Cool. Just to make it a little more steampunk than the 80s style that I do have to do. That was you? That was me. That was me and the Joker. Okay. And the green wig. Oh, wow. With the black cap and big black. That was me. And my daughter is the one with walking around with the Harlequin great big huge hammer. That's my 26 year old. Uh, that was her. That was her. That's the two of us. Awesome. But so, like, she had, she's doing a, she's gender bending plan. We're doing a trio at Mo a Momocon from Cana. I'm doing, like, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> I have to dress up for the Dragon Con already. So uh, she's got the, like, a Flynn corset, a blue Flynn corset. And she wore it yesterday with her skirt that we made when we did steam from Hades. She was oh, really nice. So if you make separates, you can move things around with different different things. I can wear this if I walk with my seamstress costume. Mm -hmm. It makes it... So, yes, ma'am. Space. Yes. So, I, well, I keep making new things, though, and it's just... Yeah, yeah. I, I have questions. Um, yeah. It's kind of backward, but... Oh, go ahead. Um, problem I run into a lot is clothes that don't fit because I'm so short, and usually it's the torso. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any advice on altering things that are actually proportionally wrong or just don't? <laughs> How tall are you? Have you tried yeah. children's pants? Uh, I haven't cut into construction yet. I just, you know, want to be able to alter yeah. Well, another thing you can do, and also I would suggest for cheap fabric, is to go to Goodwill, go to the king size sheets. Mm -hmm. make, yeah. a, make a mock up of the king size sheet and just keep, you know, just base the seams together and just keep altering it. Yeah. And one thing you can do, I don't know if you've heard about this, but you can make um, a bust of, of basically knitters do it where you take an old t shirt and you need friends to help you and you make a duck, you put duct tape yeah. dummy. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, duct tape dummy. Mm -hmm. A duct tape dummy, yeah, right. depending on what it's called. And frame it and adds a little bit of extra, but it could help you with the portions of length. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is actually pre made clothing that I'm, I'm considering having it altered because I like it so much. I have a jacket that was cut for. If you're like five or five, it probably mm -hmm. fits you perfect. Threads Magazine is a good, yeah. good source for, uh, they all they, they run through it all the time, and some of these both tell you how to alter patterns. And I believe Thread may have some information online too. Yes, yes. And I know Threads has put some of that information together in a book mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. which you could probably find somewhere. So you're talking about if you have a jacket yeah. that you want to alter, that it boots in the shoulders? Um, it's, yeah, but it's too long. It's like too long. From shoulder to thought from bus, under bus, it's definitely too long. Like, it, is it, like, is the arm too long? Um, it is, but the arm, I can see, the arm actually, I could make it smaller because if I can raise the shoulder, 
and the armhole is smaller, it's fine because it still fits my arm. There it is. I brought that jacket. Okay. Okay. Plaxy.com. Okay. Oh, yeah. As video ones, and they have a class that can you watch for on sale for, we went on sale for 1999, how to alter jackets. She tells okay. you exactly. And you can send a picture of yourself in a jacket, yeah. and she will walk you through how to alter it. And if you and they have three classes, two that you can do cooking classes and also they have cooking, quilting, sewing, um, there's some crochet, there's knitting. They actually have a free one right now, knitting socks. Free class. But they have all the kinds of all trade out of they have a class that's all trade ready to wear garments. There's a class that there's some and I think that I, I'm bad. I started with their free classes and I started buying them now. I buy them too. But they have one that I just bought like a few weeks ago. And it's something like 40 tips to make your sewing more couture looking. I, it's something It's something like that. And I, because I know the basics, but I would like to not have the one things to look. You no, know, exactly. Thank you. That's kind of well. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get all the basics now. Yeah. And it's like now I want to move to. I'm trying to that. I'm begin. My journey is moving toward. Period. But what I love about Crafty and oh, online yeah. classes is your friends may run out of patience. If you need to see something five times. Sometimes by time number three, we're running out of patience. And I, but, yeah, but, I think they're already running out of patience. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and what if you can watch it five times. Times. Yeah, and Crafty puts up a sign up for their list, mailing list. They send way too many emails, but they put things on sale really regularly. So, and so you can get like a forty nine ninety nine class for all three ready to wear for nineteen ninety nine. That's cool. And it's yours forever. Yes. Yeah, so, see, you'll learn yourself too, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's like the, I was in the leather panel, and you were talking about how he makes his patterns, it's even on craft, um, quilter class, I said, all my life. If you know somebody that's a radiologist, I said, a lot of them are going to computer x rays, but if they have film that they develop and it's not good, they just throw it out. I said, it's the same way. He says, I'm a radiologist, never even thought of that. <laughs> It, yeah, it's a yeah, it's amazing which is that's why I, I love interactive. I would rather you know, instead of coming sitting up here telling you things, you know, get get feedback. But do we have any other questions or any things put in the pool? You guys have been you guys have been great despite the Oh, I just took a bite of scum, but I have to leave this side. Uh, it's nothing really to do with sewing or sewing I mean, sewing patterns per se, but just be aware, if you're looking for deals, like on thread, I ordered a set of, of uh, assorted threads and kind of all enlarged tools from Connecting Threads, this magazine about quilting. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that it was over uh, thread coats and car. And whenever I tried to sew with it, it would break and it break my nails. So if you're, if you ever all of a sudden find that your machine is just gunking up a lot and your threads breaking in it, it's probably your thread. Because I've talked to a lot of a lot of people that, that have quilted stores and, and they say, yeah, it's it's it can be a problem. So uh, especially if you're a beginning sewer or you haven't sewn for a while and you're starting back up again and you don't have the confidence to go, it's not me, it's the thread. <laughs> Consider that it might yeah, be thread because it can it can be very frustrating. And change your needle. Uh, there's some things you can skimp on, but thread and needles, I wouldn't. Yeah. Those are. And you can get those so like, thread yeah. on sale at Joanne's or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's something else I actually learned the hard way. I was like, oh, this. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, this thread's on sale on Hancock's, and, mm -hmm. you know, this popping in my denome and going, okay, why is it bunching up? Mm -hmm. Why is it. Okay, why, why am I having all these problems? And yeah, and my team sister who just happened to be visiting me at the time, she looked at it and she was like, she's like, 
you know, how much did you buy this dress for? Oh, they said it was, they were, if they were getting rid of it, it was 99 cents. Okay, well, then that's your problem. <laughs> yeah, so, so clean your machine out of the lens. Open yeah. it up and clean it out of the lens and take it in. And, yeah. So, but yeah, they take the, they take the colors that aren't selling well, pull them back, re them, set them back out, and that's the cheap side. Because, you know, so that's what they're going to do is take it in. So they try again. Good. Any other? Um, I'm sorry if I don't have anything to keep you guys here longer. Was it's good. Yeah, <laughs> it's just me. So, so I, I hope you got something out of it. Yes. I, it's and, I, de I definitely got something out of it. Yeah. So thank you.